Hello guys, welcome to Cat Simulator. Animals on the farm. Now this you guys may be laughing and say, why do you need a cat simulator or another one? But the difference is, this one is not what you think it is. It is an RPG. That's right. Who would ever thought, make a nice cool RPG game. It has a lot of those cool elements. Now I'm right here at the starting screen, one of the starting screens. I played it a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a tutorial and a little guide and walkthrough and show you some of the features of this game because it's downright cool. It really is. The worst thing about this game, well, I'll show you that later, but stick around. So anyway, you start out with Farmer Simple Cat. By far, he's probably the cutest cat out of all of them. I used to have a cat look kind of like that, but cuter. Anyway, so you look at this. You can get this. If you get 100 cat coins, which you collect, you can get a Siamese, okay? So this one has uh, special features to it. Look at this one, the Bombay. And he's got more attack power, movements being stealth, and you can keep going up here. Look at, you get a go to Russian blue, 20% health points. So the trick is, is keep uh, collecting those coins, search them out here, and look at this, number negative 40 to hunger. Let's go all the way up here. Let's go to 12. Let's see what the big bad cat is. Alien cat, you guess it. Alien cat, when all else fails, get yourself an alien cat. But 1,000 points. Uh, where the heck are you gonna get that you gotta be playing this all the time and if you do by that point you may not even need the alien cat but this is a main coon I used to have one of these in real life just fur balls everywhere but uh, health points he was just like a regular cat inside anyway so you can take male or female the only way to tell is this in real life one has a smaller head than the other but um, I'll show you the level I'm at but I'm back to farmer cat right here and you can see all the stats here if you collect some of these you get points and it's got a lot of great stuff in this let's go back to this game here now let's load in so basically the way it is is upper left hand corner here uh, on the top left is your health and this is your hunger and this is your thirst over there so this button over here is attack button and this is your stealth button like this you can go into stealth it's funny you probably won't need it at first but this is your hints right here you're going to get this and the first hints first quest start out where you just got to go ahead and kill some mice you got to kill some spiders and do that and strangely enough you actually eat those guys which is kind of weird but we got to help him by killing a mouse so it means you get a mouse and you bring it to him hit f1 and you can see the keys wazd to move spacebar to jump and where do you see this jump it's a crazy jump f is uh attack blah 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 and all that e is eat or drink and you can pick up an item which is good like you want to pick up a mouse and give it to a farmer stealth mode is C and, and M is map and your quest window is right here notice how it spells F-E-R-A-L should have been feral or Fifi F-E-F-E-C-A-T Fifi cat or fee cat whatever or fecal it could be either one but anyway as a cat you're going to be dealing with a lot of that so you're going to go up and you're going to go down but let's go ahead and show you the one the bad thing about this you can't this only changes the camera here, the mouse look. So you got to drive by using the arrows, which some people like, but I don't because it gets me motion sickness. So first thing, make sure you always get a lot of water and you'll see this lights up. Get your water. I'm going to show you some jumps here and how to do it. I've done all the easy jumps. And next we're going to we're getting a little hungry, so we need to kill something. Stay away from the shrooms here. But let's go in here. And you can see they show you a little hint right there. So up here, oh, there's a mouse on the other side. Let's get some of these here. And you will see some an egg over here like this. Oh, look at that jump. Wow, that was crazy. So when you're close enough to eat something, hit this. And he's going to eat an egg. Hope he doesn't get any eggshells in his mouth. And there you go. We're going to, we're good with food now. And let's go over here. And if you time the jumps, like this. So we got six. And I'm going to show you what you use these for. It's a way cute game. Okay. So what's weird over here, let's get over there and jump, happy jump, and another one, and jump, and I missed. So let's back up. There we go. So he's a good cat. So you can see one's over there. You can get all those and jump like this. So let's go back over here. And what's cool about this game is there's all these egg. And I jump one, two, three. Now I got 10 of these and you can go up here and jump and get over here. And you'll notice that if you get out the window, you will see sometimes 
there's something below but not in this case so what do you do when you get the coins first thing you want to do is go over here and you can buy these permanent buffs so if you go into the buff area you see over here like this this buff here will give you movement speed but it costs 10 coins like this one percent movement speed not too big a deal let's go over here and this will give you one percent health points so that gives you let's go ahead and buy that click the dig button and I've gained one more health point right here so that's what's good about this area now we got to go get a mouse for this guy and you can kind of see these on your radar because remember this quest here get the mouse and uh, oh there he is let's go get him and I'll show you how the fight goes down here it's really kind of funny but it's kind of like EverQuest in a way where there's not much to the combat you just face tank him and he's got 60 health point come here little pecker and then whack and whack and look what happens after you chaw him up a little bit he gets mad this is when it's funny he's supposed to be mad first and run later and look at that spider how did you get over here don't you mess with me and let's go ahead and chew him up believe it or not this cat eats spiders so if you want you can have a delicious spider and a lot of these animals are aggro so you got to be careful when you go out there and pick up these animals it's not just like you walk up to them and you have your way with them um, there you go pick him up see with that button you can also use the R button that'll pick him up too let's bring him over to him see so notice his head is swirling like this and this will complete our quest come here and this will light up like this and I got a gift look at that and I got 10 coins there increases jump and all this. this is very very nice here so I will get this here and this is a nice buff boots of agility here very very nice and so you got the boots right there at least at level five you can start a family i wonder I'm gonna go look around for the lady cats out here but look at let's get some paws or you get some of these coins and it's a fun game semi-violent where you got to kill other things but look at the movement speed it should be faster and everything make sure you check your water and all that but basically that's it in a nutshell let me go ahead and show you what happens when you eat a shroom because you have to do this for some of the quests but take a look at the health and stuff. And oh, it wasn't supposed to be like that. You know, that didn't feel too good. So anyway, we got that. That wasn't all good, but we got that anyway. So you can go ahead and look around. And what, what I want to point out too is check out the map here. Okay, so what you have is you got your farmer. I guess you can give, uh, you got a mini boss in this. Let me show you the mini boss. So this guy up here is a big boss. And you can look around there is a mini boss out here the mini boss will just rip our little cat to bits and tear his fur up so we can try out the mini boss but just to give you an idea what goes down with mr. mini boss first thing you want to do is eat apples because it's hard to get other stuff let's get mini boss if we kill mini boss that'd be crazy but don't count on it okay well, let me see oh this is a rabbit here let me see come on well, there's more veggies and where's mini boss? Uh, I don't want. Oh, here's an apple here. These guys here. And what do you know? He's what? He doesn't like me. Let's eat. Okay, there we go. Now I think we're ready for mini boss time. So let's check it out. Mini boss is a little bit up this way, just to show you guys what happens when you tangle with a mini boss. Now keep in mind when you take on this mini boss you've got to be careful because it's very easy to get in here and get messed with there's another apple let's go come on let's get an apple and he's right over, should be right over there okay i don't think i'm gonna beat him was it this guy here he's a mini boss spider mini boss 102 oh my gosh let's see if we can fix his wagon Come on, we're taking it too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you can do it, Mr. Mau Mau. Come on, don't fail, Pete, don't fail me now. Got him. Mini boss down. Nice, didn't you like that? Let's pick up the coins. So we killed our first mini boss. You do need a few levels when you do take on Mr. Mini Boss. Don't try it at an earlier level. You want at least, like you see, level three. But look at the rewards we got for taking him down. Wasn't that sweet? And there's more apples. You'll go ahead and recover. Later on, you can even take a nap. And that nap, you always wondered what it is like to be a cat. Well, this game is it, guys. And here's a, a little body right here, a spider food. 
And what we can see is we don't need to get spider foods. Let's just go ahead and eat them. Always good to have a nutritious spider for lunch, dinner, or whatever. And there's our farmer over there. And there should be some water here. So there's always farmer. There's water and everything. And get some water. And just like that, later on you get a chance to rest and all that. But yeah, my biggest gripe with the game is just the controls because you can only change camera like this. You can't zoom in, zoom out. Um, but if you're okay with that and you play this at a slow pace, it's going to be all right. It won't be so bad. So now that we got some points, let's go over here. And for 10, we'll get another health. So as you can see, health is very important. I go with health every single time. We get one more of those keys and we can pop another health. Look, you've got a big bad raccoon over there. All sorts of crazy animals. More of this and more of that. So let's go over here. Anyway, that's a good preview of the game. If you like what you saw, make sure you go ahead and get this game out there. You can get it on Steam. Give it a try. Hunt the hare. If I took down the mini boss, I can kill the hare. No problem at all. And that'll be the way it goes. But anyway, thanks for watching. And see you at the next video.